All right, so today I'm going to go over using friend connector, how to get a bunch of friends, which uh, really are going to end up being your customers is the hope. And so what you do once you get access to friend connector, which uh, hopefully you will be getting from me, uh, you click on the extension, you log in with your email and password, and you see if you're not on the right page, you have to go to the members list of a group. So first, what I'm going to do is go to one of my groups that I have, and uh, we'll just uh, take a look and go into this one right here, 90 days to assess success. Uh, and we're going to look at the members. I'm not actually going to send messages to this group because I know them already and I'm not trying to recruit them as customers. Uh, but the first thing what we're gonna do is go back into members of the group, as I said, and we'll do the lookup interval. Generally, when we're sending a lot of friend requests, you don't want to be sending a lot all at once. So if you've got a group with 60 plus members and you blast out uh, every few seconds a friend request, I know Facebook is not going to be happy. So this is one of those things that you leave running in the background all day. It'll go through it. Uh, so we'll just put 15 minutes. And of course, you can limit the request to as many as you want. Say you just want to send one, that's fine. Um, if you want to upgrade, you can get some of these other filters. Um, right now, I don't have that enabled. Uh, so <clears throat> resume from the last search, no. So keywords, uh, what we're trying to do is target, say you're trying to get uh, business owners or something like that. So you want to do something like owner and put that in the keywords, or if you want to put something like CEO, you can put that in there. Uh, it really depends on what your target demographic is going to be. And then negative keywords, if there's something that you don't want to show up, you would type it in there. So CEO, owner, something like that would be your target. And then if you wanted to run it from here, you could just click on run. It'll scroll through all the people who are members, get their uh, names and their demographic information from there. So if you want to customize it a little more, which I definitely suggest, you can go into the settings and you want to create a new message segment. So this is just going to be hello. You'll click on uh, something like here would be your first message. So you want to say hi, first name. I saw we're in the same group. Let's connect or whatever you want to put. And what you want to do is have several variations to this uh, because this is going to be sending this message to each person that you're sending a friend request to. So you don't want to send the same thing. So you do another message like, hey, let's network. And you want to have several variations of that. So go through there, save it. Now you've got your message segments in there and you can have different messages. So. I clicked on settings, but uh, let's go back and then groups. So groups, um, so let's say we'll call it CEO. And in here we would type in or add the message segment. And that would be that. And lastly, if we go into settings, you can see uh, some of the different options that we have. So do you want to send a message when you receive a new friend request automatically? Do you want to send it when you accept the friend request or do you want to send something when you decline it? So these are all different options, depends on how deep you want to get into it and how customized you want people to uh, see that you're working in there. Uh, but for me, uh, really just basically doing something like a basic uh, uh, message when you send the friend request has been enough. And again, uh, always make sure that you configure something like 10 or 15 minutes. You don't want your account to be limited by uh, Facebook for sending too many friend requests at once. So we'll just say one, and then we'll put uh, test, and we'll click run. And again, this is just to show for visuals, I'm not sending I'm not going to see that these are folks I need to send messages to. I'm not trying to sell to them or that sort of thing. So um, 
once that gets going and gets done going through the list, it's going to look for test in their keywords. If it doesn't find any, uh, it'll just stop out. But uh, since I only put one, that's all that's going to show up. And uh, really, this is a great way to automate your friend request. Once you get into a group that you know you want to send messages to, um, you know, if you see somebody in <clears throat> your uh, target demographic, if you're selling software like me, I'll go into things like uh, some of the uh, software as a service groups. Uh, there's plenty of different SaaS groups, uh, people who are interested. Um, but things like this are great for uh, marketers, affiliates, uh, anybody that's looking to automate their outreach and send messages to a lot of people without having to either type messages uh, over and over or copy paste over and over. Uh, this is a great way to automate the tool. Uh, so if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll put my contact information down below um, next to the video or wherever this video ends up getting posted. And if you're interested, happy to uh, let you try it out. Uh, definitely give you a free trial, test it out, let me know what you think. And of course, I'm also happy to sell you a subscription. So let me know if, if you're interested. Thank you.